If you are an Excel user, you know how frustrating it can be to spend hours filling in numbers manually. But don't worry, I have got you covered. Hello there, welcome to Excel Demi, where you can learn Excel and Excel VBA related problems. This is Sabri Nawan and today we will learn how to autofill numbers in Excel without dragging. I'm going to show you 5 different methods to do the work. So, let's get into the video. Here we are using Microsoft Excel 365. The first method is fill series option. Let's say you're looking for a numbers multiplies inside a specific range. Here up to 200, we will discover the multiplies of 15. First, select the cell where you want to start, then go to Home tab, Editing group, click on Fill drop-down menu and choose series you will discover a box with a variety of options i want to show the result in column so i just select columns i insert the step value 15 the following value will be displayed progressively after counting the steps or intervals and the stop value box 200 this is the last number of the range you want to view the results for is 200. Click OK. And yeah, all 200 multiplies of 15 will be displayed at once. Now the second method, which is flash fill feature. As in, we have a list of names and ID numbers from a school. Now only the ID numbers are required. Enter the first ID number in cell C5 from cell B5. In the ID column, go to Home tab, click Fill drop-down, choose Flash Fill and that's it. All the students on their list will have their ID numbers shown instantly. Editing name box. Here, I have a chart with costs for various pizza items and I want to add 7.5% VAT to the final price calculations. So, in cell D5, write down the simple formula where I multiply C5 with 0 0.075. For 7.5% VAT, the multiplier will be 0 0.075. And I get final pricing for the selected item, including VAT. Right click and copy D5 or press Ctrl C. Now go to name box and enter the range D5 to D14. Press enter. Finally press Ctrl V under the D column. You will find a list of all the final costs for all pizzas including VAT. Copying formulas and then navigating to paste. Another approach that does not need entering the range in the name box will let you analyze the final pricing with VAT. Calculate the first one's final price at D5, then copy it. By hitting the left arrow key, move to C5 to access the final cell in column C, press Ctrl, down arrow. Use the right arrow to go to D14. Then press Ctrl Shift up arrow. It will choose the entire column range D5 to D14 where the overall computed results are needed. Now press Ctrl V and column D will display the required results. Sequence function. Another helpful method to run the series by autofilling is the sequence function. And the syntax of the sequence function is sequence rows columns start step for instance i want a series with a common difference of 12 that begins at 5. the first 15 numbers in this sequence are what i desire so i just select the cell where i want the result and in the function bar type the formula equal sign sequence 
15, where the number 15 indicates how many rows you wish to view. 1 stands for column number. 5 is the starting point and 12 is for the typical difference, which you can see as step value while entering in the function bar. Hit enter. The whole series with a 12 point differential will appear. We have previously seen that we could autofill a string of numbers. Now I'll show you how to autofill formula in a sequence without dragging right now. The quickest and easiest way to fill the series with formula is to double click on the fill handle. We are using the same dataset as before in method 2 and method 3. First, obviously, we have to calculate the price by using the same formula as before. You can see a plus sign here. Double click on the plus sign. This will autofill the formula. Or just select the whole range and press Ctrl D. Autofilling numbers in Excel without dragging can be a huge time saver for any Excel users. By using the five methods, you can quickly and easily fill in numbers and get on with your work. You can download the practice workbook given in the description box. So give them a try and see how much time you can save. Hope this will help you. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section or you can have a glance at excelemy.com. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please consider subscribing for more content like this.